I also presented on HER2 testing, so the recent ASCO CAP guidelines have really captured some new insights on how, what is considered to be HER2 positive, what is considered to be HER2 negative, and HER2 equivocal. And, um, and I think the, the main premise is that uh, there's many analytical variables that need to be evaluated when we implement HER2 testing. HER2 testing should be done in high volume, well-equipped, uh, quality-assured uh, pathology centers. and. Um, I would encourage the readers to uh, read the ASCO CAP guidelines and to familiarize themselves with that. The role for Key67 as a prognostic marker is well studied. However, there's significant issues that still remain with respect to its predictive utility um, and as it relates to analytical validity, validity as well. Because there's lots of analytical variables that come into uh, when we are evaluating Key67. There's lots of intra-observer variability. There's lots of issues as where Key67 is measured, heterogeneity within the tumor site, tumor itself. So I think all of those need to be addressed before we start using Key67 routinely in clinical practice.